Good evening, kids and parents. Welcome to the lesson 65. And uh, in this one, I'm going to introduce you to the great chess players in the history of our chess game. Today, we'll study a chess master, the name Giochino Greco, and this game is played in 1645. Please take a piece of paper and a pencil because I'm going to ask you questions and you could write down the moves. Look, this is how the game is played. The Greco is black, F4. This is called in chess, King's Gambit. The Gambit is a very sharp word and it means that white is giving one pawn, sacrificing a pawn, or it could be even two pawns, but it's not for free. Right, white wants to get open files, so later on when he makes castling, he can attack the weak pawn on f7, or white wants to get open diagonals for the bishops, for the queen, right? So gambits, you know, are very dangerous, and uh, those pawns are not for free. So my first question is, what, what do you do here? You can write down the move that you would like to play. Well, there are a lot of different moves. You can take the pawn, right? You can play a move like d6, or you can play a move like a d5, counter attack. But there are, of course, other moves like bishop c5 or, or even knight to 6 right? But look at that. In this game, Greco played f5. He's like, come on, if you can open your king, I can open my king too. Well, the move is not the best, but you'll see from the game, it's a lot of fun. So, pawn takes on f5, and check. And now black comes back to e7, right? Okay, there are some problems <laughs> with this move because the bishop is blocked, right? But let's see what happened in the game. Queen h5 checks, so what do we do now, right? Greco definitely didn't want to change the queen, so he plays king d8. And now takes the pawn, bishop e2. And my next question to you is, what do we play here with the black side? Okay, if you found that this move, knight of six, that would be wonderful because you are developing the piece and attacking the queen. Beautiful move, right? How about now? Write down those moves and then we'll see how many correct answers you have. Okay, probably there are many different good moves, you know, but in the game, d5 is played. Right, makes sense, right? Because the bishop is open. Right, bishop wants to take on f5. g4 is played. It's not the best move because you'll see from the game, it's opening up the king. Um, so what do we do here in this position? This is an important move. Okay, I hope you found the move like h5. Look at this one. What is the reason that black is playing h5? Well, he wants to open up the rook. He wants to capture, right? To open up the rook, bring bring more pieces into the game. White made a mistake by playing h3. Probably should play g5. Right, h3. Pawn takes. You trade the rook. Are you going to find the move here? I think you found this one, queen g3, check, and the king has to move, right? How about now? If you find this move, then you are really a good chess player. Okay, <laughs> there are two moves that you can play here. The move that Greco played is 9g4, but probably 94 is better one, right? So... Let's see the knight g4. Now, queen d5, that's a mistake. It was better to take, right? 
Queen d5, Bishop d7. Oh, I'm wondering if you're going to find this beautiful combination here. It is black to move. If you find this combination, then you are becoming a chess maestro. It's black to move. Okay, let's see. Knight f2, did you find this one? How about now? Look at this beautiful combination, the Greco plate. Knight to d3, this is called in chess, double check. Check with the t two pieces. Many kids, they ask me, is there a triple check? I said, it seemed to me, no. So there's a double check. Double check is the best one, right? And now you need to find a move. Come on, let's do it. If you find this one, Ah, look at this beautiful move that Greco played. Queen e1, check. Knight take. And now knight f2. And this is called in chess, smother mate. The king is smothered. It cannot move, right? His own pieces are bothering him. So let's see this beautiful combination one more time. So you play knight f2. Knight to d3, double check. And then you play queen e1. That's a sacrifice of the queen. Beautiful, because the knight has to take. And then knight f2. Wonderful. So we studied one of the games by an amazing chess player, Giochino Greco. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.